Hi guys, a quick tutorial on how to set up Filmic Pro uh, because you cannot use these Bluetooth microphones with the normal iPhone app. So we need to use these third party apps to do that. So if you're in a noisy environment, you've got one of these Bluetooth mics, uh, it's the best way to go to make sure your sound is good. So let me show you how to set it up. Uh, firstly, we're going to create a preset so that you can load the preset every time you open Filmic Pro and it's all done for you. So we're just going to set it up once. I'll show you the settings now and then you're done. Uh, if you hit the cog button, so I'm in Filmic Pro, I'm hitting the cog button on the bottom right, there's a preset function top right, and I've loaded some presets prior to now, so I've got the auto one, I've got a Glencore one, I've got a new Glencore one, so it's, a, it's simply a matter of clicking onto one of those to load a preset. I'll just get out of that for the moment and show you some basics, because the only thing the preset doesn't set is the focus and exposure automatic settings for you. So every time you open up the app, you may have to do this. Uh, so the focus and exposure are these two uh, symbols here, the circle and the rectangle. They're red at the moment. I'm just going to make them white by tapping them. The circle is the exposure. That shows you how guides the video and how bright we want it. Wherever I put it, it brightens up the video. It's measuring light. Uh, the rectangle is the focus area, so I can put the rectangle where I want on the focus. Now that's more specific, but we want to make it more automatic. So double tap both of those, you'll get a much more expanded area, and then tap them each one more time and that makes them white and makes them kind of active and working in an automatic way. So that's how you set those basic functions. Now the only other functions we want to worry about are the resolution, the frame rate, and the audio, which are the top three uh, functions here. So let me talk about resolution firstly. I'd like you to set 16.9 and 1080p. That's pretty standard for most videos. And filmic quality is a good place to be. There'll be some other settings there. Don't worry about those. Let's go into frame rate. 30 frame rates is pretty standard for most videos online these days. You can use 60, but I think 30 is a good place for us all to live at and that will work for most of your social media and your LinkedIn. Uh, so 30 frames per second. And then we get to audio. Now this is the most important part because this is why we're using this application. So at the moment I'm talking on the Jabra Talk 30. That's this Bluetooth mic. The reason why the phone is picking this mic up is because I've got the microphone, the Bluetooth microphone selected. I've got that switch on at the bottom there. If I turn it off, you won't actually hear me because I've got the volume of the phone down. So let me turn it off. Okay, so I'm talking on the Jabra Talk 30, so make sure you select your Bluetooth. I'd like the compression rate, which is the next line down, uh, to be double AC, or the file type, I should say. Double AC, it's not as efficient as others, uh, but it gives you a smaller file size and it actually allows for editing later, which might happen for you. So stick to double AC. And the highest bit rate you can get, which is the next line down, this microphone gives me 16 kilohertz, so that's what I've selected. If you've got higher, select a higher one. And uh, just down from that, automatic gain control you have off. Uh, it tends to make background noise louder. So we'll turn that off. And if you want to turn voice processing on, if you're doing a lot of interviews and people talking to camera, that works well to just hone in on the voice frequencies. And the only other thing we need to do once all the correct microphones are selected is to set the levels. Um, because the sound levels aren't working automatically, we need to set a baseline so that we don't end up distorting the sound. You can see the meters on the right hand side of my screen here uh, and they are showing you how the sound is going and what I want that to do is to just live in the green and maybe a little bit in the yellow but not to go into the red. Your meter might be down the bottom where the zeros are, where the time code is at the bottom of the screen here. You can see the little white line and that's actually my volume control but you may have a meter underneath that. So wherever your meter is I just want you to watch it and see as I raise the white line I'm getting a higher level and I'm going to get it right up there into the red zone which I don't want because uh, that distorts my audio. So I'm just going to adjust that white bar until I have my audio hanging kind of around negative 25 is good without peeking into those red areas. That's it. Oh, I peeked. I'm going to turn that down a little bit more. Turn that down just a touch more. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Okay, now let's set that as a preset. So go back into the cog, press the preset function down the bottom to save current settings as preset. And we'll call this Glencore 1. 
And there we go. I've got Glencore 1 saved. So now I can load the Glencore 1 preset. And whenever I go into Filmic Pro, that's what I do. Hit the cog, go to presets and load that preset. And that should all be set up for you. Turn your mic on and you're ready to go. Thanks, guys. Happy shooting.